The Bible says in John 6, verse 47 and 48, Truly, truly, I say to you. Now, when it, the Bible says truly, truly, it's like if I said to you today, Hey, listen to what I'm going to say. I mean, really, really, heads up, listen to what I'm going to say. I go on. I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Life does not emanate from the body. Life emanates from God. When we experience the grief over the loss of a loved one, it is something that is one of those steel barriers of life that we hit hard. And when we hit that just with a disbelief that someone that we love is gone, we have to hold to the truth of eternal life because that is the truth. Even though that person has passed from our physical eyes, they have not passed from life. Actually, they're more alive. It is natural to feel the pain of loss when a loved one passes from the physical realm. And yet we find real consolation in the truth true and sure knowledge that life is eternal and that God is the source of all life. So in those times, we turn to God for great comfort and we're assured as we do so of the eternal flow of divine life in all creation. God is spirit and God is life. God's Spirit within us confirms the eternal nature of divine life. And as we thank God for eternal life, we acknowledge God as the presence of life within us and within all those that we love. And we're comforted by the abiding presence of God's eternal life. And then, uh, from that great comfort of knowledge, we can bless our loved ones' ongoing life in God.